William Preston Longley, alias Wild Bill, was born in October 1851 near Mill Creek, Texas. He was the sixth of ten children. His family moved when he was two years old, and he was raised on a small family farm near Old Evergreen, Texas. He spent a large part of his childhood learning to shoot and received a decent education for that time. He was six feet tall with a thin, scrappy build, jet black hair, and was 14 when the Civil War ended in 1865. By 1867, Texas was fully under the control of the Union due to the Reconstruction Act. The military acted in almost all capacities, including law enforcement, which caused considerable resentment throughout the proud southern state. Longley dropped out of school and began living a rowdy, silver-screen cowboy life, full of drinking, gambling, and fighting in the small and dusty local saloons. A year later, the 17-year-old Wild Bill got his first taste of blood when three former slaves rode through Evergreen, intending to visit friends further south. Longley and several friends forced the three men at gunpoint into a dry, narrow creek bed. One of the victims, Green Evans, panicked and spurred his horse to escape. Longley's pistol spit fire and hit Evans several times, killing him. Wild Bill and his friends went through the dead man's pockets, and the two remaining men tried to flee. Although given sole responsibility for the murder, Longley later claimed that he was not the only one shooting. So obviously, with all this murder and crime that uh, Wild Bill is carrying on with, um, it wasn't long after that that there was actually a uh, $1,000 uh, reward offered for uh, him by the military authority in Texas. Longley fled north, hoping to avoid the authorities, and by May 1870, he had joined a gold prospecting party in Cheyenne, Wyoming. The expedition traveled into the Black Hills of South Dakota, but a treaty with the Sioux continued to prohibit mining in the area. The party disbanded when they were intercepted by a U.S. cavalry unit. A month later, Bill enlisted for a stint in the Army, joining Company B of the U.S. 2nd Cavalry. His unit was stationed at Camp Stambaugh. After only two weeks, the stubborn Longley deserted his unit as he was unable to adapt to the strict lifestyle. But he was captured and court-martialed and sentenced to two years hard labor, strapped to a ball and chain, and imprisoned in the brig at Camp Stambaugh. He was held there for four months and then released to return to his unit his marksmanship skills were noticed, and he was assigned to regular hunting parties. Just two years later, in May 1872, he deserted again. By February 1873, Bill had drifted back to his home state of Texas, where he was accused of murdering another freed slave. Following that, he returned to live with his father's family in Bell County. That summer, Mason County Sheriff J.J. Finney arrested Longley for murder and took him to Austin to collect a reward. When the federal military reward was not forthcoming, Finney released Longley, possibly in exchange for a bribe from Longley's uncle. Show that support by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the new episode. Two years later, in March 1875, 24-year-old Wild Bill revenge killed his childhood friend Wilson Anderson with a shotgun. Longley quickly fled northward, accompanied by his brother James, who was later tried and acquitted of Anderson's murder. A new reward was posted for Longley's capture. On the run, with increasing pressure from the law, 
Langley fled from spot to spot, using multiple aliases to avoid arrest. He briefly found work on a cotton farm, but he was forced to run again in November 1875 after murdering a hunting buddy named George Thomas. Bill killed again, this time in Uvalde County, Texas, in January 1876, when his attempted ambush of a fellow outlaw, Lou Schroyer, turned into a gunfight. Troyer shot Longley's horse out from under him. However, Wild Bill quickly returned fire, killing the man. This is the only known case in Longley's career where one of his victims was able to return fire. Once again on the run, Wild Bill fled to East Texas and became a sharecropper for a preacher named William Lay. After many heated exchanges over the love of a woman, in June 1876, Longley rode out to the Lay's farm, found him milking a cow, and murdered him with a shotgun. Lay was the last man known to have been killed by Wild Bill. According to Deputy Matt Shelton, uh, Wild Bill headed to Grayson County, Texas, where two of his friends, uh, Jim and Dick uh, Sanders, were being held in jail. Uh, he, he broke the two out after disarming the deputy on duty, and the trio escaped. Um, so after this, Longley actually fled to Louisiana um, because he was you know, feeling a lot of pressure from law enforcement at that point. On June 6th, 1877, after his crime spree, Longley was surrounded and arrested without incident by Nacogdoches County Sheriff Milt Mast while he was hiding in DeSoto Parish, Louisiana, under the alias Bill Jackson. He was transported back to Texas, tried in the Lee County Court, and sentenced to hang for the murder of Wilson Anderson. Bill's appeal was denied, and on October 11, 1878, five days after his 27th birthday, Longley was executed by hanging in Giddings, Texas, only a few miles from his childhood home in Evergreen. His grave, an estate historical marker, can be found in the Giddings City Cemetery.